If you have watched my latest video, you saw that I've tested how After Effects performs on the MacBook Pro with the new M1 Pro chip and apparently you guys liked that video, but many of you wanted me to test the performance of After Effects by running the Puget Benchmark plugin, so here you go. This test is run on the 14-inch MacBook Pro 2021 with 16GB RAM, 10 core CPU and 16 core GPU, 1 terabyte of SSD storage and the Apple M1 Pro chip. This version of After Effects is the latest version I could find on the Creative Cloud application and that is the 2022 version which runs through Rosetta, so it's not M1 native. Many of you told me that Adobe has just released a new version which runs natively to Apple Silicon, so I've downloaded that version, but unfortunately that is a beta version, so there are a lot of features and plugins that don't work yet, one of them being the Cinema 4D plugin and it looks like the Puget Benchmark plugin needs that in order to run the test, so we have to wait a little bit longer until we can test that. Anyway, I'm going to make another video between After Effects running through Rosetta and the one running through Apple Silicon, so stay tuned for that. Now I'm going to speed up the video because it took like half an hour to finish the tests, so I'm sure you don't want to spend that much time watching over some video rendering. Alright, and we got the results. It looks like we have a score of 653 and honestly I don't have any idea if that's a good score or not, but it seems that our speedometer indicates almost half capacity, so I think it's a decent score. Not very good, but decent. I don't really have anything to compare with, maybe you guys can't let me know in the comments what scores you got on your workstations. Anyway, I bet the 32GB version would move the indicator over half, but that's just me guessing. I wish we had had a little bit more information about this score, but yeah, this is what we have. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching and talk to you soon.